Now, one of the key challenges faced by women who are in agriculture is their inability to have access to land to farm. Even when they have, they are given either virgin or fallow lands which are less productive. Canadian-based non-governmental organization Mennonite Development Associates, MEDA, in collaboration with local partners, organized the first Agriculture Land Tenure Forum in the Upper West Region to solicit from stakeholders longer and more secure tenureship for women farmers in that region. Join News's Upper West Regional Correspondent Rafiq Salam was at the forum and reports. Having access to reliable and fertile land is key to the success of any farming venture. It is even more successful when women farmers have access to not only reliable land, but long-term access to them as well. Giving access to women to own fertile farmlands, agricultural productivity increases because farmers are able to invest in soil conservation and better farm inputs. In addition, household food security and nutrition are improved due to increased agricultural yields. Owning or having access to these farmlands, however, is not all that rosy in some parts of the country. The situation is always blamed on the culture and tradition of the people, which place women's second fiddle to their male counterparts. Worried about the limited farmland space given to women who want to go into farming, Mennonite Economic Development Associates, MIDA, in collaboration with its local key facilitating partners, organized the first agriculture land tenure forum in the Upper West region. Key stakeholders were brought together to solicit support from them for longer and more secure tenureship. Upper West Regional Officer of Women in Agricultural Development, Elizabeth Cortina, blamed the low access of women to land in the region to customary and traditional systems. In the Upper West region, MIDA is implementing the Greater Rural Opportunities for Women Grow project focusing on economic empowerment of women through the soybean value chain using a business approach. The project is being implemented in eight districts in the Upper West Region. Women are equipped to produce soybean, access markets, and extensive information and utilize soybean in their households. Country Program Manager of MIDA, Karen Walsh, noted that Giving long-term access of land to women to farm will not only improve the living conditions of their families, but will make them entrepreneurs as well. So what we're asking in this forum, and which is one of the largest forums of ever to be held in Upper West, is to talk about land rights and land access for women. So if we have land access for women from five to ten years, we will see not only it benefit the children, the household, but the whole Upper West region, because we are looking at changing the entire way agriculture is done inside of Upper West. We don't grow soybeans because they are there for, su for sustainable agriculture. We do this because we are market-based. We want our women to take their soy, to not only consume it, but also to market and sell it. And what we've seen is incredible. We've seen the incidence of um, food, secure, food insecurity drop. We've seen our women be able to have their children go to school, buy their uniforms. We now see women going out there and they become entrepreneurs. Some of the participants spoke about the benefits that the people will derive if women are given access to farm on fertile farmlands. The women form part of us. Uh, the men at times are simply negligent when we begin to say, women, you are strangers. Then I can fathom it that way. How can they be strangers? You go and bring a woman that uh, this is your life partner. So in one way or other, you are saying that your life partner is a stranger for that purpose she wouldn't get access to land 
the chief can meet his council of elders and decide that if a woman is given a piece of land to do soya beans under this project, the woman has access to the land for five years. The chiefs can also decide to earmark, that's what the land use planning is all about, can decide to earmark an area just for women. So let's say you have 20 acres earmarked for women, that 20 acres will be protected. Now a woman can come in for two acres, for three acres, and she knows that nobody will dare go to the land that has been demarcated by the chief. So they are leaders, they are the political leaders in the community, and they are literally the policy makers. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wa.